Hey guys, they're Motherfucking Prime here with a brand new unboxing for you. Today I'm going to be unboxing the special edition for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I almost said Horizon Zero Dawn for some reason, I don't know why. Anyway, uh, just because I have my collection of the game, I have the Shulk Amiibo, I have both copies of the Wii version of the game and the 3DS version of Xenoblade Chronicles and the special edition of Xenoblade Chronicles X right there. You can tell this is the special edition because I do believe that this standard edition does not come with the reversible sleeve that lets you give it a different like style or look. And yes, I know my nails are freakishly long. Get over it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. To make room for the game and the accessories, I'm gonna move this stuff on the side, to the side. Actually, one second. Sorry for that. There we go, I just want Shulk Amiibo to be there. Let us get, let's get this open, shall we? And I've learned my mistakes. I'm gonna stop using these keys because last time I used them, I just damaged a steel bookcase. But this time, I don't have to worry about that because this is a huge box that won't give me trouble like that did. Um, talking about my um, unboxing for the collector edition for self worth the Stick of Truth or uh, the Factory Bubble. Get, get your uh, laughter out now. <laughs> Wow, that art book is huge, and this box is way bigger than I was gonna. I uh, was originally thinking. I'm gonna have to make a lot of space on my display shelf behind me. Looks nice. I do admit, though, the European version of this looks a lot better. It's like red, and then on the other side, it's gold. Depending if you like uh, Pyra or Mithra more. Pyra's on the right. She is the red one, and Mithra is the blonde one. She's like light based, I believe. Here's the art book, which is actually the right way because you can tell from the font there. Looks awesome. And this is hardbound. I don't think the European version is hardbound, meaning this is a hardcover, not the uh, flimsy soft cover. We'll check that out at the end of the video. And for the good stuff, the steel book case, which is the first Switch game I have that has a steel book case very nice looking. This is honestly probably my favorite steel bookcase to date. It looks beautiful. You probably can't tell but like it's so colorful. Just my lighting in my room. And then the sound selection. Which this has some really good tracks. My favorite is probably Counterattack. I listened to it I listened to a uh, YouTube version of it the other day. Here's all the songs. Uh, my favorites would be Shadow of the Lowlands, Counterattack, No Pun's Life is pretty funny, the Gormot song is pretty good, sorry if I mispronounced that. These are all really good songs actually, but yeah, Counterattack, the uh, second to last is my favorite. The disc looks awesome too, by the way. I like how it's like two halves, gold, it, it's not really gold, it's like tan, it's like that for me too, not just the camera, uh, and red, looks sick. I always, I kind of like these sleeves, I don't know why, I mean I would prefer a regular game case, but, or a CD case, but no big deal. It's still pretty neat, it would fit nicely in my collection. I'm not sure if I said this at all, but the European version also comes with the regular case, so you have both the steelbook and the regular, depending on what you want to put it in. Sadly, the US version doesn't, but eh. I mean, whatever. At least we got the hardbound hard art book. This is awesome art, by the way. This is beautiful. Love it. Probably gonna hang that on my wall and just keep the game in like a, a uh, one of those clamshell cases that I got. I would show you it, but it's currently downstairs. As you can tell, I'm opening up the art book. And not to spoil anything for me, because I haven't personally played this game yet, I'm just going to open to like a few random pages. Beginning pages, specifically. Okay, so, oh. Got a nice view. This is actually my screensaver on my computer. I loved it so much. This game is going to be fantastic. Got a shot of Mithra. It's 
Chapter one of just Pyra. Yes, there it is. There it is. Say what you want about the character designs. I love them. This is, I believe, Poppy. Yep. One more. Almethis. Alm Almethis. Almethis. Looks pretty nice. One last page. How about that? Let's get a page that's not just a character page. There we go. Environment. Looks nice. Alright, that's enough of that. So in total, this cost about $100. I'm not sure if it's still readily available. I would recommend looking up online and finding it. Do not get it on eBay because there's scalpers out there. Do not give scalpers your money. I made that mistake years ago for Order 1886. One, one of my least favorite games of all time, and I mean, the statue's cool, but just like, it was not worth it in my opinion. There we have it. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for the Nintendo Switch. Cannot wait to start playing it. So, uh, yep. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, give this video a like if you liked it, uh, dislike it if you didn't. <laughs> I don't really, doesn't really matter to me, honestly. Comment below what you think about the Xenoblade franchise, and uh, subscribe and share this with a friend if you want. Uh, totally optional. All optional in my opinion. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.